bring out the truth of the Bible and you compare it to the things that are going on today, it should make you grasp to it more and gravitate onto it more. And then to understand that this is your God, good night. What more has to be saved? How much more blood saved? How many more, how much more diseases, man? The Lord is trying to protect you. Give him a reason to protect you, man. And he gonna do his fatherly duty and pursue you and show you Exodus 15.3. Man, we got the pure right here, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian. That's right. We've been trying to tell you that from, from, from since what, 12, 1 this um, today? We've been trying to tell you we got the cure here for Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian, man. You understand? You are the nations, you heathen. Lord, Lord be with you. You understand? That's the most I can say, right? Tell, tell them where you're at right now. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 9. And when evil cometh upon us, and when evil cometh upon us, then all us, blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian. You understand? Read. As the sword, judgment or pestilence or famine. Or judgment and what? Pestilence and famine. Right now is a pestilence going through America and through the whole entire earth, blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian. You want to not catch the coronavirus? Then you got to follow what God say to do. You understand? You can't go be buying up all the toilet paper, all the hand sanitizers in the world, and you still want to eat pork, you still want to smoke, smoke crack, you understand? You still want to eat crab, shrimp, and lobster. God ain't going to be with you, black, Hispanic, and native Indian. God ain't going to be with us. Read. We stand before this house and in thy presence, for the name is in this house. And cry unto thee in our affliction. You understand? He's saying that his name is in our house. What house is he talking about? Us blacks, his spirits, and native Indians. You understand? We're going to be able to live in the hood, in the barrios, and that um, coronavirus not touch a single one of us, blacks, his spirits, and native Indians. But we got to put on the blunt, man. We got to put on the crab, shrimp, and lobster, the pork. We gotta put it down, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian. You can't go and buy all the hand sanitizer in the world. The stores are so low with all the hand soap, all the toilet paper, all the water. You fear Corona more than you fear God. And God ain't gonna have that, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian. You understand? Let our oppressor go and run out and panic. Press the panic button. But blacks and spice and native Indian, let's do what God say to do. Read. Then thou were here and help. And now behold the children of Ammon and Moab. You understand? God is going to help us, blacks and spice and native Indian. And with all the pestilence, all the coronavirus that's going around right now, God is going to help us, blacks and spice and native Indian. Our oppressor taught he would have been able to get away with everything. Everything. He got kids on the border in, 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 in jail cells, basically. You understand? In cages. Got over two million of our black men locked up in prison system. And you think God ain't, ain't going ain't to answer their prayer? God is answering those people prayer right now. Answering our prayer right now. You understand? One thing worse than the coronavirus is us being in captivity under this devil, black, Hispanic, native Indian. That's worse than the coronavirus. You understand? Your pastor ain't telling you this. Your pastor tomorrow, he gonna shut the doors of the church. I thought the church was open to heal black people, native Indians. I thought this church is full of all of God's healing power and it's closed tomorrow. You understand? The church door is always open. Now your pastor, the pastor who's supposed to be a man of God, locked the doors in the church because he is scared. You're following a coward, blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian. Your pastor is a coward. You understand? 
We know you like school or universal practical knowledge. We got a Passover come April 9th, and we are going to celebrate it. Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian. That's right. You understand? We're going to follow Commander Journey up. Johnny had an order, he tell us to go up there, we're going to celebrate it, we're going to celebrate it. You only better understand that. We're going to let no bug shut us down. You can't even go to, the, the, the Muslims can't even do the, 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 um, the hijab or the pilgrim. Right. They can't do it because of a virus. Right. You know why? Because Islam is not the way for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You're right. seeing it. They trying to protect Allah from all of the disease. You understand? They want you going kissing that, that rock with your coronavirus and spreading it on, on Allah. You understand? They don't, their God ain't the God of this Bible, man. This God of this Bible is real. Give me Romans 12 and 19. Let me show you, black man. What shows you one thing, black man. We don't have to pick up guns. We don't have to go pick up guns. We don't have to go pick up any weapon to go fight the white man, to go fight our oppressor. God is doing it right now. You just need to open your eye. You just need to not listen to that, that money grubbing pastor and you're gonna see God is doing this right now. Where you at right now? Romans chapter 12 verse 19. Daily be loved. Avenge not yourself. What? Avenge not yourself. Read one more time. Avenge. Dearly be loved. You can't leave that out. The Bible is saying what? Dearly be loved. Dearly be loved. That's right. You blacks and Spanish and Native Indian, coronavirus ain't for you. It's for your oppressor. It's for the heathens. You understand? God sent plagues in Egypt and this Bible to destroy the Egyptians. And it never touched us. You understand? Because we are God what? Dearly beloved. We are God dearly beloved. Read. Avenge not yourself. God is saying what? Avenge not yourself. Don't avenge yourself. You understand? We got to go pick up guns and go shoot no cop because they're killing us. We got to do it. Look at what God is doing right now. We gotta, we gonna have to do. We gonna have to lift a finger. We don't have to go and burn the Chinese store down for for beating up our woman. We gotta do that right now. God is answering your prayer right now. Blacks and Spanish and Native Indian, He answering your prayer with a bug. A bug shut this whole place down. That's to show you what God, what, what God you serve in this Bible. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Read. But brother, give place unto wrath. But rather what? Give place unto wrath. Give place unto wrath. That's what you're seeing going on right now in America and throughout the whole entire earth. The so-called Iranians, they're crying. They're crying right now you understand europe crying right now rome the vatican crying right now those are the people that enslaved the native indians and blacks trying to push that catholic um the catholicism on them the christianity on them god is doing that to rome to italy right now shutting the place down because of what they did to god chosen people his dearly beloved you understand? You didn't know that black man? That God loves you? You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian? God loves you. You understand? You want to know the cure? You better open your ears. You want to come talk to this brother right here? You understand? You better open your ears and hear what's coming out of this Bible. You understand? Don't be afraid of a bug. Be afraid of God, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian. Be afraid of God. God gave us a dietary law. We ain't supposed to be eating no bats, no dog. You understand these type of animals, poor crab, shrimp, a lobster. God gave us a dietary law. But these heathens are in so much power that they think they can eat whatever they want. Right. Corona ain't for you, black man. But if you're eating pork, if you're smoking weed, if you're doing drugs, black man, 
Corona might just be for you, man. It ain't supposed to be for us. You understand? God wants to kill these Edens. God wants to put your oppressor to death. They stand by and look and see us die in the streets of America and say we should be better black citizens. We should be better Americans. While they kill us. While our woman made our woman abort their babies. You understand? You shoot our young men in the back and arm. Right. Sitting down in a car. The brother trying to go to give you his license, you shoot him. You understand? Well, God heard his prayer. His blood was crying from the ground. Trevor Martin, Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, their bloods were crying from the ground. And God is answering it, man, with this coronavirus. That's right. He answering it. The streets of America is clear today because of a bug. You fear a bug more than you fear God. How the hell you gonna say you got the house of God and the doors are closed tomorrow? Cause that ain't the house of God. That's a whole house. That's right. You know what I mean? That's a drug den. That's a house for pedophiles. You're trying to save the pedophiles? God trying to kill the pedophiles. You understand? You trying to love your oppressor? God trying to kill your oppressor. Right. Read. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Vengeance is what? It's mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. God wants to repay America for what they did to the so-called native Indians. God wants to, wants to repay America for what they did to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Your president, Donald Trump, could stop the coronavirus right now if you want. Right now, repent for what you did to the so-called Mexicans on the border. Open those cages up, man. Let those people go. You got all the money in the world. You've been robbing the entire earth. We know you're rich beyond belief. We know you're rich. We did again. The dearly beloved, envisions not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. That's God right there. Give me Matthew 16 and 4. Give me Matthew 16 and 4. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You understand? We got the cure right here, man. You got to fear no virus, man. But you don't, so, so you telling me you fear Corona, but you don't fear AIDS? You still want to be a homo? Right. You still want to be a lesbian? Right. That's why God got to send Corona. That's right. That's what Corona is for. Corona is for people who want to do, Disobey God. Right. Who wants to break God's law? You're gonna be so scared, you're gonna run and buy all the hand sanitizer in the world, all the soap in the world, and still be gay. Right. God gonna put you to death. Read. Matthew chapter 16, verse 4. A wicked and adulterous generation. Hold, hold on. Skip me up to verse. Give me verse 1. Start at verse 1. 16 verse 1, the Pharisees also with the Sadducees, right. they, these were religious leaders at the time, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, like your Christian churches, you understand, Crap no Dollar, your T.D. Jakes, your El Sharpton, you're reading about them right now, read. Pharisees and Sadducees came and tempted to desire him that he would shoo them a sign from heaven. You understand? They came to Christ to tempt him, to show them a sign from heaven. You understand? Just like what you do right now. You walk past here, we see reading out the book of God, but you want a sign. Read. Verse two, he answered and said unto them, when it is evening, 
Ye say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. You understand? We are able to look up in the sky and know if it's going to rain, or if the sun is going to be out, or it's going to be cloudy. Read. And in the morning, it will be fair weather today, for the sky is red and low read. You understand? Like you are able to tell what the weather is going to be like today when you wake up in the morning. Read. Oh, ye hypocrites. Oh, ye what? Hypocrites. You close the door of the church. Hypocrite. You a hypocrite, man. Right. You gonna buy toilet paper and sell even pork, crab, and lobster? Hypocrite. You a hypocrite. You smoking weed? You selling weed? Hypocrite. You a hypocrite, man. Read. Ye can discern the face of the sky, uh -huh. but ye not discern the signs of the time. You, we don't discern the signs of the time, black man. You see what's going on in the Middle East. There's wars jumping off in the Middle East right now. Turkey, Turkey fighting Syria. Syria fighting ISIS. America want to go to war with Iran. Iran want to go to war with America. Russia want to go to war with Saudi Arabia. It's wrapping up because the signs of the times are written in this book. You understand? Coronavirus is out. A pestilence that was prophesied in this Bible is out today. Listen to this good black man. Read. Verse 4, a wicked and adulterous generation. A what? Wicked and adulterous generation. Seeketh after a sign. Seeketh after a sign. Well, God is giving you a sign right now. God is giving us a sign right now. And it's the coronavirus. A bug. You can't even see it. But you fear it. Some, some side fiction type type stuff. Right. You can't see it, but you fear it. It's going to kill all of you. You understand? Kill it's going to kill you, devil. That's right. It's going to kill you. That's right. You understand? It's going to kill you. You right. better go get some gloves right. and some hand sanitizer. Right. You're smoking cigarettes right. and say, Corona, don't kill me. You're going to get some good cancer and some Corona in your behind. Right. I pray that. That's right. I pray that. I pray you get some good cancer and some good corona. Right. You understand? Give you a double, a double dose. That's right. You understand? Read. And there shall no sign be given unto it, but the signs of the prophet Jonas. But the sign of the prophet Jonas. You understand? What was the sign of the prophet Jonas? Jonah did what? Jonah went to Nineveh and did what? He prophesied to God's chosen people to change their ways. Oh, God was going to destroy them. And we here today, blacks as far as the Native Indian, the ISGPK under Commander Jerry Ahana, we are here today to tell blacks as far as the Native Indian, if we do not change our ways, if we behave like an American, God is going to give us Corona. You understand? I know you're going to say that. You understand? I pray God give your entire family corona That's and right. cancer. That's right. The double C's. That's right. You understand? Go home and meet your whole family coughing and sneezing That's right. and full of fever. I pray that God, if you can hear my prayer, let Mr. Whitey know that you are God of this earth. God of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Because they take this for a joke.